In the previous lesson, we learned how to write set statements involving two sets. In this lesson, we'll learn how to write set statements involving three. Consider this first Venn diagram where we're going to let A represent the set of actresses, B the set of ballerinas, and C the set of comedians where the universal set U is a set of all women. What would this shaded region represent? Well, we see that region 2 is inside of circle A, it's inside of circle B, but it is not inside of circle C. So the way that we could write this would be A intersect B intersect C complement. It represents the set of women that are actresses and ballerinas, but are not comedians. Now compare that with our second Venn diagram where we have regions 2 and 5 shaded in. Notice that this shaded region is where circles A and B overlap each other. This can simply be represented as A intersect B. It represents a set of all women that are actresses and ballerinas. What about our third Venn diagram where we have circles B and C shaded in? Well, yeah, that would just be the union of B and C. This shaded region describes all the women that are either ballerinas or comedians or both. Well, that brings us to our fourth Venn diagram. How could we describe this shaded region here? Well, first of all, notice that regions 2, 4, and 5 are all inside of circle A. Also notice that regions 2, 4, and 5 are all inside of B union C. Therefore, regions 2, 4, and 5 are in the intersection of A and B union C. So we can write this as A intersected with B union C. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but this looks kind of similar to something that we saw in algebra. What if we had A multiplied by B plus C? We could use the distributive property to rewrite that as AB plus AC. We know that multiplication is distributive over addition. So we might ask ourselves, if we have a set statement, is intersection distributive over union? In other words, can we rewrite this as A intersect B union A intersect C? Notice how I've distributed A intersect B union A intersect C. Well, in order to answer this question, we can make use of Venn diagrams. Let's go ahead and rewrite this statement up here. In order to create a Venn diagram for this, we'll first of all find A intersect B. Then we'll find A intersect C. And then we'll create the union of those two sets. We already know from our second Venn diagram that A intersect B is regions 2 and 5. Similarly, A intersect C would be regions 4 and 5. In order to form the union, we just shade in all these regions up above on a single diagram. So from the first diagram, we need to shade in regions 2 and 5. From the second one, we need to shade in region 5 and 4. And the end result looks just like the picture that we had in our fourth Venn diagram. So that actually verifies that these two statements are equal to each other. But so far, we've seen that intersection is distributive over union. So our next question might be, is union distributive over intersection? In other words, if we find A union 
B intersect C, is that the same as A union B intersected with A union C? So to answer this question, we can make use of Venn diagrams. Let's first of all create a Venn diagram for A union B intersect C. We'll take it one step at a time. First of all, we'll find A, then we'll find B intersect C, and finally we'll create the union. Set A would include all the regions inside of circle A. That would be region 1, 2, 4, and 5. B intersects C is where circles B and C overlap each other, which would be regions 5 and 6. In order to form the union, we need to shade in all the regions that are shaded above. So region 1, region 2, region 4, region 5, and region 6. Now let's form the Venn diagram for this set statement on the right. First of all, we'll find A union B, then A union C, and then finally the intersection of those two. A union B will include all the regions inside of circles A and B. That'll be regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. A union C will be all the regions inside of circles A and C. That'll be regions 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Well, in order to form the intersection, we need to look for the regions that are in common. We see that they both include region 1, they both include region 2, they don't both include region 3, they do both include region 4, they both include region 5, they both include region 6, but only the second one includes region 7. So we only shaded in the regions that they had in common. Now notice that the picture at the bottom is the same for each, and so that verifies that these two sets are actually equal to each other. So the answer to our question is yes, these two sets are equal to each other. Union is distributive over intersection. Now you may have been expecting this result, but it's actually a little bit counterintuitive. Remember over here we had multiplication was distributive over addition? Is it the case that addition is distributive over multiplication? In other words, if we take A and add it to B multiplied by C, does that equal A plus B multiplied by A plus C? Well, no, we have to do multiplication before we do the addition, and so we're not able to distribute the addition over the multiplication. So this is not true. I hope this lesson helped you out. We've looked at how to write set statements involving three sets, and we've also looked at how we can use Venn diagrams to verify that two set statements are equal to each other.